Get ready for Wednesday night because Boo Boo Kitty is back, y'all. Are we gonna have some problems? Fox's Empire was a major success story last year, and there was outrage when it was basically snubbed at the Emmys, except Taraji P. Henson's nomination because, hello, she's amazing. But there's another story within that success story, and that's why the show blew up in popularity. The increasing ratings over the first five episodes of season one last year broke a record that's at least 23 years old. The last time we saw that type of steady increase was in 1992. A lot of that has to do with the way co-creator Lee Daniels designed the show. Yes, it's a predominantly African-American cast, but the overall theme of Empire is about Lucius Lyon living the American dream, which is something everyone can relate to, regardless of race. Aside from Terrence Howard and Taraji P. Henson being the two A-list celebs at the helm of the show, the guest appearances list has been equally as impressive. Mary J. Blige, Courtney Love, Jennifer Hudson, and Naomi Campbell all appeared in the first season. And dare I say the lineup gets more impressive in the second season. Oprah Winfrey, Chris Rock, Alicia Keys, Lenny Kravitz, and Mariah Carey are all slated to guest star. These huge names bring the show massive fan bases who want to watch their favorite performer get down and dirty with the Empire cast. The writing is also strong, specifically for Henson's character, Cookie Lion. Her strong personality and unique words have been dubbed cookieisms by fans of the show. Tell him, Boo Boo Kitty! I'm she she. Uh-oh, she she boo 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 boo. Oh, now you can't speak English. Those cookieisms are a result of Fox and the executive producers ignoring the white gaze, which is the idea of viewing the world through a white person's eyes. The show has is not concerned with the white gaze at all. We, we just were, were playing inside baseball with black culture. I started selling drugs when I was nine years old. I did it to feed myself. But it was music that played through my mind that kept me alive when I thought I was going to get shot. Cookie's larger-than-life personality every week and her fans' reactions to her interactions with other characters helps propel the Empire social media explosion that happens weekly. In turn, social media generates interest for people who have some major FOMO, which continues to boost the ratings. Not to mention the insane job the Empire marketing team has done to continue convos on social media year-round. From Jimmy Fallon skits and Saturday Night Live appearances to Jussie Smollett performing Empire hit songs at award shows, it's easy to see that the show is here to stay. For Newsy, I'm Lexi Hamisfar.